Hello info person, this is Anton and today we're going to discuss a very bizarre discovery of what seems to be the largest spinning structure astronomers have ever seen anywhere in the universe. A recent astronomical finding that's challenging our understanding of how galaxies acquire their spin and how some of the largest structures in the universe seem to evolve. And in this case this is an enormous structure. This spinning object, or this spinning thread of galaxies, seems to be at least a few million light years across and is located approximately 140 million light years away from us. But by itself this is not something we've never seen before. This is what's known as a cosmic filament or a galactic filament that we've discussed on the channel many times before. And here's actually a very good visual representation of what many of these filaments look like if we were to look at everything around us from a distance. But in this case, this particular one is rotating at an incredible speed, with individual galaxies within it spinning in sync. Which is actually why this discovery is so unusual and actually so exciting. Because here the combination of motion and spin offers us a really important and somewhat rare opportunity to study how the universe is structured and how it evolved over time, changing this cosmic flow for billions of years. But I guess before we start talking about all of this, let's very briefly define what this cosmic filament is and what we know about it. Because it is important to understand what we're discussing and what we're looking at. And well, to try to figure this out, imagine the universe at the largest possible scale. Here you would not see individual stars and you would actually not even see individual galaxies. And instead you would see this vast interconnected network that kind of resembles this and is referred to as the cosmic web or the galactic filament. And this is the largest structure in the universe that's been observed for many years and we have quite a lot of evidence for the existence of individual filaments and of course the empty space between them that we usually refer to as voids. And there's actually a really exciting recent discovery about one of the voids, the local void, that you can learn about in one of the videos in the description. And so cosmic filaments are some of the largest known structures in the entire universe. And they all represent these thread-like massive formations mostly composed of gas, galaxies and a lot of dark matter. And the way this formed was very likely because of very tiny differences in density in the early universe. Some areas had slightly more gravity, which attracted more matter over time. And this process gradually caused the matter to collapse and eventually formed these web-like patterns or filaments and enormous sheets. So it's a kind of a cosmic scaffolding. But importantly, this filament or this scaffolding also acts as a kind of a highway for a lot of stuff inside. Here we're talking about gas that eventually produces stars and galaxies. And it also produces a kind of a movement or basically momentum. Here a lot of raw materials like gas and galaxies is funneled in one direction toward the intersection where galaxies usually cluster. Once again it's best visualized right here with each of these intersections producing galactic clusters. And so for decades simulations like the one I just showed you, the illustrious project, predicted that these immense structures should acquire angular momentum and spin as they form over time. But this was just theoretical and has never really been observed. We've actually seen parts of the filament, but we have never seen spin. Trying to observe rotation on such massive scales was beyond our capabilities. And that's what this recent breakthrough is all about. And so in this study, that is always you can find in the description, an international team led by the University of Oxford identified a giant spinning structure 140 million light years away from us. And here the core discovery focused on a string of 14 nearby galaxies, all of which you can kind of see in this image, that seem to be especially rich in hydrogen, which makes these galaxies a perfect marker for observing how gas flows through cosmic structures. And that's because they're basically producing a few more stars. And so it was really the analysis of each of these galaxies that then allowed the scientists to create an overall picture. And so here this string seems to stretch for about 5.5 million light years, with the galaxies embedded inside a much larger filament that seems to be up to 50 million light years across. That's kind of what you see in this image. And so the study mostly focused on the smaller part, 5.5 million light years by approximately 120,000 light years across, with all this contained inside the much larger filament that seems to have approximately 280 galaxies. And I think this image right here sort of presents us with a pretty good visualization. But how did they actually do it? Well, this was all based on very specific radio measurements. By using Meerkat telescope in South Africa 
and by using data from the deep sky survey referred to as MITEI, here they were able to create a distribution and motion of neutral hydrogen by observing the emissions. And you might already know that hydrogen is really good at emitting one specific radio wavelength, the so-called 21 centimeter line. Here we're talking about the frequency of approximately 1.4 gigahertz that can actually be seen from pretty much everywhere in the universe. And so here this radio data from all of this hydrogen, combined with optical observations from the dark energy spectroscopic instrument, and some of the older data from the SDSS allow them to then construct this visualization of this entire cosmic filament. And Professor Matt Jarvis, who leads the MITEI survey, noted that this finding perfectly demonstrates the power of combining data from different observations in order to gain a much deeper insight into how large structures can form. So essentially this is exactly what these surveys were meant for. But here scientists did discover two very unique pieces of evidence about this somewhat massive structure. First they found bulk rotation. By observing the motion of galaxies along the filament, they found that the galaxies on one side were moving toward us, or essentially had a little bit more blue shift, while those on the opposite side were moving away with a little bit more redshift, with the motion confirming that this whole structure was essentially spinning, or twisting and rotating just like in this image. And based on their models and the observations, they worked out the rotation and velocity to be approximately 110 km per second, or 68 miles per second, which makes this one of the largest spinning structures we've ever seen. Remember here we're talking about something that's in millions of light years, and so this whole thing is essentially spinning. But on top of this they also discovered a kind of a galactic spin alignment, which is actually one of the more important discoveries. Here they found that spins of individual galaxies within the filament seem to be highly aligned, and aligned with the rotation of the filament itself. In other words, the galaxies are not spinning randomly, they are spinning along the filament. And so the spin axis of the hydrogen-rich galaxies was directly aligned with the cosmic web, which actually aligns with previous predictions and cosmological simulations. And also of course makes sense because all of these galaxies were initially formed inside the filament, which was already spinning, making them rotate in the same direction. And this is a super important finding for something that we discussed approximately a year ago, when we discussed this one study that I actually disagree with, that basically proposed that we live inside the black hole because many galaxies seem to have spin that seem to be kind of similar and seem to be in the same direction. You can learn about this proposition in one of the videos in the description, but in that video I basically tried to explain that it was precisely because of this that we were observing the spin. With this study definitively showing us that this is exactly why so many galaxies seem to spin in the same direction and even move in the same direction when observed from planet Earth. So this once again suggests that it is extremely unlikely that we live inside a black hole. It would be cool and all, but it just doesn't seem to be the case. But strangely enough, here the analysis of this filament also suggests that this is maybe a young, relatively undisturbed structure that has not experienced a lot of violent events. And that's because here there's a very high count of hydrogen-rich galaxies with somewhat low internal motion. So scientists usually refer to this as dynamically cold state. Which means that this is still something that's in early development and something that's going to change over time. But this is also probably why the rotation in this case is so easily visible. And so in a lot of other filaments, because they might have more chaos and more collisions, the rotation becomes very difficult to observe. But because this one is young and undisturbed, the structure has not changed much and preserved its original shape and its original motion. Although this also kind of challenges some of the previous models, especially when it comes to galactic formation and evolution. Specifically, the current theory referred to as tidal torque theory suggests that young galaxies acquire their spin mostly because of gravitational pull from the surroundings. But this finding definitively confirms that the angular momentum in this case seems to be also generated on a very large scale from the filament itself. And so the filament and the cosmic web itself almost definitely influences galaxies. Or basically there's a kind of a top-down feedback from the universe itself down to the galactic shape and its motion. The largest structures seem to influence the smallest structures. And though this is something that has been suggested before, this is the first time we seem to have direct evidence. And while these observations will definitely help astronomers piece together how galaxies evolve, how they change from one to another, 
and why some galaxies end up being so strange. But this is also important for additional surveys that have never really considered these observations before. Specifically a lot of large-scale cosmological surveys, such as the one from the Euclid mission, or the one that's going to be conducted by the Vera Rubin Observatory, need to consider these individual differences in speed in order to make sure that they create accurate maps. And so if galaxies are preferentially spinning in the same direction, it does introduce artificial correlation that must be accurately modeled and accounted for. Otherwise, it's going to produce completely incorrect results, which there's a slight chance might have happened before. As a matter of fact, right now there's a very slight chance this might also kind of help us resolve the Hubble tension, the unusual observations when it comes to the expansion of the universe. And one of the videos in the description discusses this more. But all in all, this is definitely an exciting discovery. Here we have a definitive confirmation of the largest spinning object ever, and it provides a very clear explanation for how universe arranges itself, how it seems to organize galaxies, and how it even seems to influence galaxies by changing their spin and possibly their shape. And so here we have a direct demonstration that cosmic scaffolding or cosmic web is not just a static web, it is a dynamic system that rotates and moves around and actively shapes the galaxies we see today. And so the simulation right here is basically pretty accurate. But we'll definitely learn more about this once we have more telescopes and especially newer radio telescopes that can continue to deepen our reach into cosmos and detect objects even farther away, eventually allowing scientists to map all of this precisely. Because right now there are more questions than answers. For now though, this incredible image provides us with a powerful new perspective on the universe and shows us just a little bit more about how the galaxies and matter inside the universe seems to flow. It literally seems to move and spin along the series of these incredible tunnels. But we'll definitely come back and discuss this more once there are some updates. And so until then, thank you for watching, subscribe, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon where you can find additional videos, videos without any ads and can DM me directly, or by joining a channel membership that grants you early access. You can also support this channel by buying the wonderful person t-shirt in the description below. Stay wonderful, I will see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye.